In this video, I will be providing you with a method you might be able to use in your area, especially if you can't find longer lumber and you need to build some taller walls. And that would be to simply use the lumber you have available in this fashion here. And you would simply lap it or sister frame it. And the block installation should make this wall a little stronger. And you can use 16D nails or screws. And when I say screws, you might need to get some screws that might be a little stronger than your average screw you can get from your local hardware store. And it won't be able to provide you with fasteners or bolt sizes. However, can tell you that wider lumber might benefit something like this. I don't think I would use 2x4 for a wall longer than 10 feet. And you might consider even been using 2x6 or 2x8 for longer walls. So we can either nail it, screw it, or bolt it together. And I would imagine bolting it together is going to be the strongest method. And in this example here, I'm spacing the bolts 16 inches on center. And over here, they are staggered at 16 inches on center. So these two are 16 inches apart, along with this one and this one and this one and this one. And if I was to guess a 3 8 inch bolt might work here, 3 8 inch diameter, along with washers on each side. And if you want to make it a little stronger, this might help. You might be able to add some boards at the top and the bottom. And for those of you who can't find lumber long enough, you might consider staggering the smaller lumber using the same method. And you can see here where I have two bolts in each section, connecting each section in between the brake. So the brake on the right side, the brake on the left side, two bolts here, and then two bolts here. And instead of blocking it through like we did up here, I just went ahead and put one block in. You can put this in the middle or even install more than one, two, or three blocks. So again, we're using nails or screws over here, and we're just simply adding this board here with these nails at the top, and then using the same method I already provided you with for the center, and then adding another board at the bottom here. And again, you can see where we are using smaller lumber on this side. And I really don't think it's going to be to your benefit to use the smallest lumber you have on your project. For example, if you have two foot scrap pieces of lumber, it might work. However, I think it's going to be better to have fewer breaks and use the longest lumber you possibly can for something like this, because I think that's going to create a stronger wall. So there you have it. And for those of you who build your own projects without any structural engineers and maybe even build your own trusses, then something like this might work for you. However, like I mentioned in the video, I do not know if this would be an approved method by a structural engineer. And thanks for watching. To learn more about home building and repairs, visit us at our website. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. See you next time.